hear some live music again after all these months of lockdown. We're very, very grateful, Jeffrey, that you've come to play. So I'm going to introduce the next piece and go back to a bit of scene setting. So as you know, today's concert is hopefully going to raise some money towards restoring the wonderful windows in this church. Windows like one you can't actually see, but it's behind me in the corner back there by the altar. Um, we need to raise £40,000 to restore our windows. Uh, we're on the way, but we're nowhere near £40,000 yet. Um, and this window behind me, the one in the corner, is small, but its importance can't really be underestimated, because this is the window in memory of the woman who gave the organ. She was, of course, here on the day that the organ was inaugurated, 12th of May, 1891. And she would have enjoyed a truly family occasion because it was a spectacular day. The Molesbys and Organs turned out in force, as we know, and the vicar at the time, Reverend Re Roland de Surgette, actually sang a solo. And a few months later, he married the eldest Molesbys and Organ daughter, who was called Helen. Now, that wedding took place here just three months later, and once again, there would have been wonderful music from the organ. And it was a very happy day. But less happy days were to follow, because Caroline was with St. Alban who gave the organ as she sat there listening to the music that you, you're listening to today, didn't know that she had little time left to live. She was not in good health, uh, she was an asthmatic, and not long, not long later became very unwell. She and her husband set off from Clance to Italy, where they thought the warm weather would help, but it didn't. And by the end of May, uh, it was 1899, Caroline's health had deteriorated and her children were called for from Clarence to go out and see her. Sadly, they arrived too late and she died on the 8th of June, 1899, before they arrived. She's buried in Greasy, but she's remembered back here in Crown, out on the St Alban family vault, which is in the churchyard, but also here in this small and very charming window which you can go and look up afterwards. Now, unlike some of the other windows, it doesn't have a huge and impressive bi biblical scene. It's just, it's themes faith and charity. And there's a saintly um, figure who's strewing flowers and garlands and leaves. And in the traceries, which those the card bits above, um, there are four cherubs. And there are four cherubs like her four children. And it would be nice to think that the spirit of this window lives on today. It is Father's Day, and this is a story of family love. So it's fitting that we remember Caroline and the gift of the, the organ today. And we're now going to hear another piece played on the day it was inaugurated. It's Mendelssohn's spectacular third organ sonata. And it was played in the presence of Caroline Mills with some organ to whom the window is dedicated, and over to Geoffrey. Oops. Mm -hmm. 